Thank you, Zach. All new tonight, a few members of the community shared their concern regarding events that occurred at the Ohio Valley Pride Festival a few weeks ago. 7 News reporter Bailey Martin has more information on what the concerns are and how people responded at a city council meeting today. Bailey. Steve, one point that was brought up at Wheeling City Council today was concern for the music and visuals being displayed at the Pride Festival two weeks ago. It was brought up that this event was open to the entire community, but opinions of whether or not it was appropriate for children began to circulate. I cannot live in a city or raise my child that this is appropriate. At the Wheeling City Council meeting, Councilman Ben Seidler directed his remarks to a presentation regarding the Ohio Valley Pride Festival that occurred two weekends ago. The level of crudeness that happened over the weekend two weeks ago with music at an event that was supposed to be a family-friendly event or an all-welcome event was completely unacceptable. After pointing out the quote-unquote explicit language that was played, he called on Angelica Radevsky to take the podium. She began by comparing the drag performances at the festival to an incident of a crime of indecent exposure to children. What began as a concern about the music being played at the Pride Festival turned into an allegation against members of the LGBTQ plus community. Drag, however we want to interpret it or what some people claim, um, in our state is defined as distribution and display to minor of obscene matter penalties and defenses and that is a brief description of what our state represents of what would be a criminal charge. She quoted Councilwoman Rosemary Ketchum many times but once in particular by stating quote we can easily see how drag has penetrated popular culture impacting the way we dress behave and even how we speak end quote. Councilwoman Ketchum says that her immediate reaction to the inclusion of statements she had made in 2020 in relation to these events was surprising because she has no affiliation with the Pride Festival itself. For the comments to be directed, I think pretty strongly toward me as an individual, I think was uh, disrespectful, frankly, and just a little bit concerning. Um, and the community members, while they have the right to uh, believe what they believe, they don't necessarily have the right to lie and mislead the public about who LGBTQ people are, who I am, and what I believe in, uh, and what I stand for. Although these concerns were brought up today, it is important to note that the City of Wheeling was not an official sponsor of the Ohio Valley Pride Festival, and no members of the Council had affiliation with the event. Reporting live in the studio for 7 News, I'm Bailey Martin, working for you.